killed at a shooting at Hatmakers Bar and Grill in Fountain City on Friday night. Investigators say 46 year old Kenneth Burgett and 30 year old Patrick Petty were killed in the parking lot outside that bar. Three people were wounded, but their injuries were not life threatening. Knoxville police say both men who died do have ties to motorcycle gangs. Reporter Mary Klingler joins us with a view from one biker club, and they say they're not all the same. They don't fit the negative stereotype. Mary. Yeah, John, that's right. The Blue Knights are leading the way when it comes to community efforts inside Knoxville. They say violence that we've seen here recently is unacceptable. They want people to know that not everyone who rides is a part of that trouble. Their name says it all. Outlaw motorcycle gang. The Knoxville Blue Knights is a motorcycle club made up of active and retired police officers. We're one of the good guys, yeah. Jack Lakin is the president and says it's a shame to see a motorcycle club promoting violence when the majority of bikers do not. There's a lot of good biker clubs, okay, even with our hog chapter here and with the Blue Knights. It's not easy, but we do it because it's right. It's the right thing to do, to raise money and give back. That's what we do. They and other ride clubs in the area dedicate their time to making the community stronger. And we all ride together and we go out and have just a really good, good, safe time. There's a lot of good, good people that ride motorcycle out there. Todd Ethington wants the community to feel safe when they're around. you got to have a police background for uh, uh, somebody to enter our club. Tom Bruno has been the president of the Hog Chapter in Knoxville for decades. When I started, we tried to do things for the community. And they still do, partnering with the Blue Knights to put on several community events. We just did an Easter egg hunt. We were at a church over here. He says some of the outlaws used to partake in community events, too. And they used to come. So, I mean, there's good people in every organization you know there are some that care and there's some that want to cause trouble you know you have a fraction of a small amount of people who have well my my grass is greener than your grass and they get into a conflict and you know then it's bad now police say they have no suspects in custody right now and encourage anyone with information to contact east tennessee valley crime stoppers at 865-215-7165 Guys. Mary, thank you.